I am Rachel Weber with Batesville Products. I'm Jonathan Johnson with Batesville Products, and we're the experts in aluminum castings. We're a family-owned business with over 100,000 square feet of manufacturing space. Batesville Products is a family-owned and operated permanent old foundry. We have been around for 76 years. The great thing about Batesville Products is we take your product from concept to finished product so it's ready to install on your line. We design, we tool, we pour, we finish the casting from start to finish so that offers us the ability to give you a complete part so you are not managing multiple suppliers. We do all the secondaries in-house including machining and polishing. In addition to that we've got some great suppliers that we work with that can help with any coating finishes you need. Heat treating, powder coating, liquid applications, chromes, plating, anodized casting. People come to Batesville products for our dense castings, um, especially if they need something that is pressure tested or they need to machine it with minimal porosity. We serve over 70 industries, medical, telecommunications, lighting, agriculture, secondary automotive, food service. Batesville Products sweet spot is medium sized castings, not over 100 pounds and not under one pound. Moderate volume from anywhere starting at 500 pieces. Excelling in complex castings, anywhere where we need to have a lot of engineering work to make sure your part's going to be casted and solidified correctly. We're one of the few foundries in the United States who pour zinc and aluminum in the permanent mold process. We cast aluminum A356, zinc ZA5, and zinc ZA12. A356 is a versatile metal used across many industries. Food grade and also medical grade aluminum, so a lot of industries can use it. It does very well in the permanent mold process. It has low porosity, um, it's very lightweight has the option to be heat treated, it's very easily machinable as well. Zinc has a lot of good purposes. Two reasons we do use zinc, uh, first off is because of weight. A lot of times we use zinc as a uh, medical cart basis, anything where you need extra weight in a casting versus aluminum. And we also use it for surface finish. So if you have a part that you're looking to kind of show off and have a really nice shiny finish, you would want to go with zinc. Permanent mold is the process of pouring molten aluminum into a steel mold. We've got a lot of years of experience under our belt when it comes to permanent mold casting. It's a gravity-fed process. Essentially, you're pouring your metal into a pour cup and you're letting gravity do the effect. So when it tilts back, the gravity flows in naturally, so it causes less porosity and provides a denser casting. You don't want porosity in your casting because then you get air pockets, machining is a little bit more difficult, and a lot more inclusions or issues will be coming apparent during the machining process. Porosity can cause issues in powder coating. You don't get as dense a part. The difference between permanent mold and die casting is the way the molten metal is fed into the cavity of the mold. Permanent mold, you use gravity to feed the metal into the steel mold, whereas in die casting, you are injecting the metal. Die casting is typically reserved for a higher run product line, um, something in the 50,000 units per year. Permanent mold is closer to the die casting surface finish, but closer to the sand casting cost. Permanent mold tooling tends to be about a fifth of the cost of die casting. There is a slight difference between permanent mold and sand casting, and it really has to do with the tooling itself. Um, permanent mold is what it sounds like. It's a permanent mold. It's steel, so you're going to use it multiple times over and over again. The difference for a steel tool versus any of the other processes is repeatability. When you're using sand casting, you're creating an impression in sand, so it's, it gives you a coarser surface finish. There is the chance of sand entrapment potentially happening. You can also hold tighter tolerances with permanent mold which is a big advantage. This is also a great example of when you want to switch from sand to permanent mold. Um, one due to volume, um, just due to the sheer need of higher quantity, this was a good part to switch to permanent mold in addition to reducing the amount of porosity that comes through and the potential of sand entrapment. 
A lot of times our customers come to us with bald mints where we turn it into one continuous permanent mold casting. So if you have a fabrication where you have quite a few different parts where you're having to weld them together. You're going to have potential weak spots where you're welding things together. Switching over to permanent molds to gain all those features into one casting really helps cost, reduce costs, reduce time to produce. Um, gives you just a lot more solid product. Really has to do with the long-term aspect of a project. If you're looking at something that is going to be living in the industry throughout many years, you're going to want to do castings as you're going to see a long-term payout effect and a huge return on your investment. In permanent mold casting, there are three different types of casting methods. You have the traditional tilt pour method, which is the most popular. You have reverse tilt pour, which is the second most used, and then you have static pour, which is a little bit older version and not as frequently used. On most of our castings, we're going to use the tilt pour process. Um, the nice thing about the tilt pour process is it allows the molten aluminum to go into the tool and allow air to evacuate, um, creating a denser casting, a lot less churn. Basically laying the part horizontal and then as you tilt it back, you're having gates run down the sides of the part and you're going to fill from the bottom to the top, creating the least amount of porosity. The example of pouring uh, a beer down the side of a glass. If you decide to pour a beer into a glass, it creates a lot of foam and churn. Um, if you pour it down the side of a glass, you tilt it, uh, a lot less foam, a lot less churn, a lot less porosity um, ultimately in the casting. So turbulence is bad because it creates porosity. If you come to Batesville Products for a permanent mold tool, we will use an FEA analysis prior to cutting the tool. So every single casting that we have goes through that simulation to make sure that the casting is going to solidify correctly, that there's not going to be any areas where we're going to see shrink. And it also helps show us where any hot spots potentially could be or even porosity and we can design out those issues before even cutting the tool. Our goal with the simulation is to predict and decrease any complications. Quality is very important to Batesville products. Quality is built into our process. We do um, a lot of different checks and balances along the way, beginning with the tool, doing the FEA analysis, all the way through the machine shop and doing CMM reports. If you bring on a new product with us, we will go through a first article inspection at the end of casting the first part off the tool. If required, we can also do PPAP. The good thing about having an in-house machine shop is we control the quality of the castings. We only machine our own castings that we do pour here. A lot of times castings are near net shape, so they need to be machined to get the final product. And when you're machining a low porosity casting, you're less likely to open up any air entrapment or gas entrapment in the casting. We have a state-of-the-art machine shop with vertical mills, horizontal mills and lathes, where you can hold tighter tolerances with better repeatability. We've got over 35 pieces of press equipment out at the foundry, and then we've got multiple horizontals, lathes, and a vertical down at our Lawrenceburg facility. And both facilities house their own polishing departments. We have robots in the polishing department for higher efficiency and better results. One of our initiatives over the last few years at Batesville Products has been to introduce robotics into our process. We started out with a sawing robot and we've moved all the way into adding cobots to the process as well. Nice thing about that is it takes a lot of the strain off of our employees and adds in repeatability to uh, the process. So here we have a casting for the medical industry. Um, I think it does a great job of representing everything we can do here at Baseville Products. Um, this is a semi-permanent mold casting, so it involves a sand core. Um, they wanted to use the sand core because they wanted to be able to feed in the electrical wires and not have them be exposed. Um, also have uh, machining. We did machining on this and then powder coating as well. If you're interested in finding out more about castings or would like to get a quote, you can either check out our website at batesvilleproducts.com or you can reach us through our phone number which is 812-537-2275. You can ask for myself, Rachel Weber, or Jonathan Johnson. We'd be happy to answer any of your questions. We're the permanent mold experts and we've been in business for over 75 years.